Hey everybody, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. Today we're taking a look at iOS 12, this time on the iPhone 10. So in the last video we did it with the uh, iPad and today we're taking a look at it on the iPhone 10. So we're gonna see how it looks like on the iPhone operating system. All right, so checking it out from the lock screen, you can see it's pretty similar. Uh, we do have the new wallpaper here, the new iOS 12 wallpaper. You also see that the music heads up display looks a little bit different, a little bit more translucent than it was before on the lock screen. I think that looks really good. So if we slide down into notification center, we can see the notification groups. So if we go ahead and go into this and we expand, we can see notifications and then we can do show less. So this group's notifications, it's still kind of ugly and I don't think it's done a great job here. Uh, but it is better than it was before. So that's group notifications. Additionally, we have group FaceTime calls for up to 32 people. I can't demonstrate it here yet because I don't have the devices on the iOS 12 software um, enough to do it, but that is a new addition on FaceTime now. There's also an emoji now with the Memoji that goes along with it. So you can create yourself and make it really perfect and personal to you. Uh, basically, this is killing Bitmoji, or trying to at least. I don't know if it'll have the app integration, uh, but it is trying to create a very realistic you. And this is another one of the options with the Bitmojis as well as some of the new characters below. Additionally, we have a new measure function, uh, which can measure things using augmented reality. So if we go into the measure application, you can see just by pointing your phone at something, it will give you distances in real time. And it says doing this that the iPhone 5S is about six and a half inches tall. I'll go ahead and confirm if that is true or not, uh, but that's the idea you can measure stuff with this new measure application for the iPhone. There are two other new features, which are Do Not Disturb has seen some new additions, uh, new features that you can do. You can change certain settings. You can set it based off location or time to automatically end. So it's gotten just a little bit more useful. And there is screen time, which unfortunately has glitched out on mine. Uh, it's got a restriction error, which I can't really get into it or use this right now until this gets fixed. Basically, this allows you to censor certain material, uh, age levels type stuff. It also allow you to track how much time you spend in applications. So depending on what application you are in or what category or genre of app you're in, it will log that. So you can see exactly how much time you're spending in every application. You can also put limits so that when you're using an application, a little reminder will pop up and say, hey, you only have five minutes left in this application. So that is screen time. This is supposed to help cure the addiction that has become uh, popular in the media about iOS devices be being very addictive. There's now new Siri shortcuts. For instance, if you were to ask Siri or tell her weather, uh, it can automatically check the weather, uh, send a text to somebody, wh whatever you wanted to do. You can do shortcuts like that. There's supposed to be an application to go along with that, but there is currently not an application to do this. So the best thing you can do is kind of see examples of this in the Siri application. You can see some of the things you can do, but obviously you can't really do a whole lot here. Uh, because the application is not quite ready yet. But in theory, this will be coming soon to Siri, in theory. So that's exciting, but not quite here yet. We also have a new update to the Stocks application. So basically why this is new is because it brings market news. This is curated from Apple's uh, news team, and that's the whole idea here, is that it brings news. Nothing, not a whole big deal, uh, but it'll be a nice addition for people that use the stock uh, use the stock stocks app. This will be a nice addition to just get more detail in a better stocks application. So in case you were to use, you know, other broker or Yahoo Finance, basically it competes more with that. There's also a new voice memos app to accompany the iPad app. Nothing crazy there. Then iBooks has been changed to Apple Books. Nothing crazy there, but it is now just called Apple Books. And then we have a few new things in the battery subset. And then we get more details about the applications, which I think is going to be pretty cool uh, to take a look at usage on your iPhone in more detail about the battery. So that's going to be a nice feature as well. Additionally, taking a look at scores, we can see that on iOS 11.4, these were the scores that we were looking at. And then iOS 12, these are the scores you're getting. Obviously a big drop off in the multi-core score. So that will be interesting to see that hopefully get fixed. Uh, it likely isn't going to stay, but we can see that the single core is about the same. But very weird, there's a big multi-core drop off with the iOS 12 update. 
Anyway, that's about it for iOS 12. We'll be doing videos about individual features more in depth and well some hidden features. Comment what you want to see next. I do plan on covering the iPhone 5S and seeing how that experience is. But for now, this is iOS 12 on the iPhone 10. Again, leave comments down with any feedback or suggestions and I'll make those videos for you. Thanks for watching. Check out iDownloadBlog.com. Catch you in the next one.